Revenge. Mm, oh, okay, okay, that banana was my breakfast, Playboy. Yeah, what's up now? Yes. You ain't so tough now that I ain't holding yes. a random yes. fruit in my hand. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you a big tough with the open hand. Pat, when you back with the fist. 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 Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, now look at you, struggling. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Chiquita, you know what I'm talking about? You feel me? Del Monte, potassium, baby. Please subscribe. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave Natch. I speak stocks. Today is Fire Friday, April 12th. And in today's video, I have one play for you. But before I go into the play, let me delve into yesterday's recap of the overall markets. The Dow ended flat yesterday, down a measly 0.00% on the day to settle at 38,459. The Nasdaq, however, they spiked 1.68% on the day to settle at 16,442. The Nas. Apple rose 4% on the day to settle at $175. Apple looking strong. Tesla rose 1.65% at $174.60. Big winner on the day was Rent, R-E-N-T. Stock spike, a whopping, an epic, an eye popping. 161% on the day to settle at $19.38. The company beat earnings expectations. The volume yesterday. 45 million shares exchange hands compare and contrast to their average volume of 500k rent dave's play today is a <laughs> sp play in and out grab and go one and move do not overstay your welcome pxmd pxmd is up 91 percent thus far in the pre-market trading at 78 cents at a recording of this video the higher day thus far in the pre 88 cents if this one retracts below 60 cents this might be a no-go today there's no news out we just ride in price action this one has spike ability for example november 7th the stock went from 275 all the way to 1026 on a volume of 35 million shares exchange hands that day in conjunction to that november November 14th, the stock went from 165 all the way to 445 on a volume of 16 million shares exchange hands that day. This one's in the biotech space. Their headquarters out of upstate to New York. Let's get the tires. What's the tires on this? Brother, you didn't kick them. Oh, I'd rather I check them out before I'm going to think about purchasing. They were a market cap of 3 million, 6 million in the float. 8% of the float are held by insiders. 2% of the float are held by institution and choice has 1% of the float, PXMD. Their 50 day moving average is 55 cents. Their 52 week high was $38.93. This one has room to the upside. They have a total cash of 5 million. Their current ratio is sitting at 3.16, way above par, PXMD. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to follow me on X, ask WT for my stock alerts. In the meantime, in between time, always protect your neck. Always set a stop loss. Do not invest more than you're willing to lose. And whenever you see some profits, take some profits because now you see them, now you don't. Dave Natch, I'm out. Boom, bam, make your next trade your best trade. Always take care of your downside and let your upside take of itself. Trade well and I'll see you when I see you. Enjoy the weekend and be safe. I thank you for watching Dave Natch I'm out
Welcome back to Dave Newell's channel. Don't forget to hit that like. Please subscribe and share. To listen to their words. One evening he did hear the ox bemoaning to the ass the hardness of his lot. I do labor pulling the plow from morning until night. No matter how hot the day or how tired my legs or how the bow doth chafe my neck, still must I work. But you are a creature of leisure. You are trapped with a colorful blanket and do nothing more than carry our master about where he wishes to go. When he goes nowhere, you do rest in the green grass all the day. Could a loan be well made if the borrower cannot repay? 